about the race? No, I mean, I, I don't know anything aside from what we've already shot, you know, and I, I know they're, they're busy writing all the other episodes now as we speak, but I, I, we're just meeting each other for the first time in a while, so we're, I, I haven't even had a chance to talk to Rocky about what's happening next, but I can't talk about the pilot, because that's certainly what I know. When do you start shooting? August, mid-August, yeah, up in Vancouver. When his brother uh, goes missing, his sort of investigative instincts begin to uncover a bunch of clues that his brother has left behind that leads him into this strange world of the cult, which is a show within the show uh, that helps explain. Uh, any other questions? Um, I watched the pilot. Very freaky, I have to say. Yeah. Is, does it have that vibe for like the rest of the season people? I mean, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's so layered and complicated. I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to take it. But yeah, I think the idea would be to sustain that level of suspense as much as possible. Um, I, I'm excited about trying to get the show to reach out to through sort of multimedia as well to make it a more interactive experience, which I really like about the show. I think it has the potential to really push social media, take the television, push it into social media, involve the audience, and you know, interact with participants. So hopefully there'll be some of that as well. Yeah. What are some of the stuff that you learned from what you've done for now that you bring over to uh, the show? I like that question. Um, I, when you work on a show like Vampire Diaries, you, you're dealing with like supernatural content and a show that's constantly rewriting itself, and you're it's just always shifting and you're always adapting. And I think for me, after after three seasons, you, you get you get accustomed to how fast television moves and how much it's changing, and so you're you're not really shaken. And so for me to because we were shoot, I was shooting uh, the finale of Vampire Diaries, but we were shooting the pilot of Colt, so we were doing both at the same time. And I think that just the experience allowed me to just sort of like flow and, and, and let it be what it needs to be. So it just I think conditions you to the pace and allows you to sort of rise above it without getting stuck in your head. Which do you like better, Vampire Diaries or Colt? <laughs> well, you know, I, I feel very blessed in that um, there are two very different shows, uh, so that they're allowed, it's going to allow me to explore two different worlds completely. You know, I, I was really sad to leave the Vampire Diaries because I've made a family there. Um, and much to my delight and surprise, the new cast of Cult, I realized, will also be another family. So they're two very different shows, two very different locations, two, the content's completely different. And so in that respect, I'm, I'm overjoyed for the diversity of it. Um, see what it will take. I mean, we haven't sh shot the show yet, so I can't say in the long run how Cult will fare compared to the Vampire Diaries experience, but so far it's prepped to be a really positive experience. Yeah, so my as my character begins to track down his missing brother, his clues lead him to uh, the set of the show called where he meets and runs into Jessica Lucas's character, Sky, who is a, an intern uh, who is a suspect of the show's internal goings on and, and realizes that there's something happening underneath the surface with the fans. And so when my character shows up on set trying to get answers to these questions, she sees him and then they sort of link, they sort of partner up in their, in their mutual suspicion of the show. And that leads them into discovering who is who and where is what. And, and in the process, I think 
they, there's that sort of undercurrent of sexual attraction and, and potential romance that is yet to be investigated, but is always sort of potentially been. been Insult in English, English capacity. Yes, by making me choke that. You know, are you crazy? Oh, no, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think the show will be interesting in that sense that it'll be up to see how it plays with the real audience. Hopefully, they won't be insulted in, in, in that respect, but, but drawn in. Um, uh, it, it is an interesting concept, though, with social media now and, and blurring the line between television and and what is, what is real and what is television and, and I think with the social media as it is now the access that fans have to the actors of, and the characters of the show it's definitely the landscape is changing radically and I like that the show sort of somewhat addresses that in a, in a creative way even though it's slightly erotic and paranoid it's it will be, it'll be I think, an interesting way. Okay, I got into a lot of I hope so. I hope so. You know, I, I don't. I don't know if it will reach the level that the Vampire Diaries does, simply because it's not a supernatural show, and yeah, I don't think you'll see my character Jeff and Cole like running around wielding a stake trying to kill supernatural creatures. And that. So the, uh, the action. Yeah, right, 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 right. That's true. That's true. So I mean, I think hopefully it'll be some action, but I think it'll be totally different. Yeah.